Hey everybody, uh, sorry about the uh, messy get up of mine, uh, sort of like unplanned nature of this, but I feel like this was like the only way I could get across uh, my thoughts on this very quickly. So uh, I just got done watching uh, The Unlucky Tug's retrospective on season 5. It was a great video, but right at the very end was something that caught me completely off guard. And if you've seen the video, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's probably, it's probably you know, the reason why you clicked on this video to hear me talk about it. Project Tiger Moth, a project by a one, a by a one. Oh god, I've got to realize I'm gonna look up the guy's name. Jacob Jarrett, also known online as Flying Pringle. Basically, for the past two and a bit years, for the pa for the past two and a half years, he has been working on a model episode of Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends using prop replicas of the like, original props that were used during filming the original series. It's uh, a series, well, well it is an A episode that he's filmed, uh, but it's, it's, it's a series 5 styled episode that picks up right uh, from where series 5 left off pre-Magic Railroad and oh my fucking god it looks so beautiful. Like I've, only, like I've only seen uh, like the clip from the teaser as well as the behind the scenes uh, stuff that was shown uh, via uh, Lucky Tug's uh, season 5 retrospective but uh, I can just tell that it is going to look so beautiful. The, the aspect ratio that they've chosen, the 4x3 uh, aspect ratio, uh, very similar to what was done with the... But, but it was exactly what was done with the first uh, five uh, seasons. The camera angles and the way that they've decided to shoot uh, the engines on set, the, 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 the props themselves, oh my god, they look so fantastic! They, they, they look exactly, again, it's, it, it's styled to look exact, to, to look as close to classic series Thomas as possible, and they've done it! Classic Thomas is back because of what they're going to do, and it's going to be uh, a live uh, it's, go it's going to be a live project, with, uh, it's, it's, going to be, it's going to be a live premiere of the project, uh, set to premiere on the 26th of November this year. Uh, it'll premiere, uh, it's at some uh, like trade event in America, there'll be more information, I'll leave more information about it in the descri description of this video. But for those of you who can't make it to the event in America, it will also premiere live on YouTube, so that's good for people like me that want to watch it. And Jesus. <laughs> I, I, I shed a tear when I saw that. I shed a manly tear when I saw just how much blood, sweat, and possibly also tears that were put into that were put into making this. I cannot wait until this comes out. I I I, I really can't because it's the as as they said it's 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 the first fully modeled Thomas uh, project uh, used with those kind of like gauge one style models uh, in about fifteen years. Like, well, the classic series season five, uh, to, uh, to be more specific, that uh, that's where people like consider you know like the golden age, uh, where the golden age peaked, you know where the golden age ended. Uh, season five was 22 years ago, it came out in 1998, that was 22 years ago. The last thing to be done with the model's style was, ser was Series 12, and that was 15 years ago. And now it's back, the models, uh, but, but not, not the ex again, not the exact models, they're replicas, but Model Series Thomas is back, all thanks to the dedicated fans that worked on uh, the episode soon to, uh, soon to come out. You bet your ass I am going to sit there and relive my childhood all over again. Getting to see what is essentially going to be a brand new episode of Thomas and Friends in the style of the show that I fell in love with as a kid and still very much love to this day. It's, 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 good, it's going to be amazing and I just wanted to share my excitement with you guys about it because I, I, depending on where it leads, 
I don't know if it's going to be like a one-time thing. I I'd totally be fine if it's a one-time thing. The fact that it's a thing in the first place should be absolutely commendable and deserves the highest amount of praise and applause uh, uh, possible that you can give to this. But I'm curious to see what things will be like going forward, how this will inspire other content creators in the Thomas fandom. Uh, how, again, what it will lead to, who knows what it will lead to. Uh, but all I know is, this year has been the year of Thomas and Friends. Not just with the Series 5 um, brushes that were leaked, not just with all that behind the scenes uh, photos and concept art that was released, including the TV series map drawn by David Witten himself, not just with uh, the Audrey extravaganza, uh, the second Audrey extravaganza held uh, back in July. It's 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 been the it's been the fandom. It, re it really has. It's it's been a great year to be a Towers fan uh, this year. It's 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 been. It's, it's been brilliant and I feel like this is going to be a great way to wrap up the year of just how dedicated we as a fandom are for this little blue tank engine. With that said, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this and yeah, I'm, 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 I'm excited.